Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria. It's September, which means that it's baby month. I'm actually 40 weeks in one day recording this. So hopefully by the time this video goes out, I'll have had the babe. I'll be posting on the community page and on my Instagram about whether it's a boy or a girl and how everything went. Today I have crock pot meals for you because, because it's September. So it's not just baby month, it's also the beginning of crock pot season, as well as fall and school and I know I'm gonna need these crock pot meals to get through the next few months. So here they are. Uh, but let's not forget about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives like you and like me. It's a great way to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I recently took a class called Productivity Habits That Stick using time theming with Mike Vorty, and this is so helpful for me. I'm always just trying to get things in order around the house, and it was a really great way to look at my time and schedule out things appropriately. There are so many different classes on productivity. There's even cooking classes. There's amazing lifestyle classes. There was one about herbs and growing your own vegetables inside, which is great for the winter and a great money-saving technique. These classes are specifically for learning, so they have no ads, and they're always launching new classes, so you can always stay focused, and there's always different places to go with your creativity. Skillshare has an amazing community of support and is for every skill level. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare, so you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, for my first crock pot meal, I'm making some Southern style country ribs in the crock pot, or in this case, I'm using my instant pot, but I am using the slow cooker setting. So you want a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of white vinegar, one and a half cups of ketchup, I'm just using my favorite little spatula to mix that together. And as always, I'll have that link down below for you if you wanna get yourself one of these little spatulas. I just love it because it's easy to clean out my measuring cups. And then I'm using two teaspoons of this seasoned salt. So this is a savory seasoned salt from Momofuku, which is amazing, but you can use any seasoned salt that you have, whatever your favorite is. Um, and then I'm adding my country style ribs. So about two pounds of ribs uh, to that mixture. And then you wanna just mix those up, get them covered nice and easy, and cook this on low for five to six hours. Now this makes an amazing sauce. It's kind of a tangier, more vinegary sauce. A lot of times I use like the Sweet Baby Ray's and it's very sweet, very um, brown sugary. And this is not like that. So it's something a little bit different, which is wonderful. And then you just take the sauce, skim off the fat from the top and cook it in a pan for 12 to 15 minutes. And you wanna reduce it to one and a half cups and then pour it over the ribs. Now I know it's not the most beautiful looking thing in the world, but it is delicious. And I serve this alongside my tomato salad, which I'll put a link to a video where I explain how to make that uh, down below. And then some just fresh corn from the farm stand. And this was a delicious dinner. These would taste so good with mashed potatoes as well. So on this particular day, I am making a beef stew. I had totally planned to use a recipe and I didn't have everything I needed. Now, thank goodness for these little like slow cooker packets that I happen to have in my drawers. So I pulled out, my favorite thing about beef stew is it's like simple, right? You use what you have. I had a part of an onion. I had, you know, half a thing of celery. I had half a thing of carrots. I didn't even have potatoes. I'm like, you know what? We'll use, we'll just use instant potatoes with that. You can see on this particular day, I'm going to the beach, so I have my bathing suit on, so forgive me. Um, so just, you know, slice up your onion. Anything that you have, you can use sweet potatoes. Um, you can use, you know, regular chopped up potatoes if you have them. Um, even butternut squash tastes delicious in a uh, beef stew. So in this case, I've got my onions, I'm using my carrots and some of my celery, and then I have a couple pounds of stew meat, just placing that in the crock pot. And then thank goodness for this Campbell's slow cooker sauce. Just place that in there and cook it for about six hours on low. And here is the amazing soup. And then I had a bunch of these mashed potatoes left over from Aldi, just cook these up according to the directions. And it's tasted so good to have this uh, beef stew with the mashed potatoes and the kids loved it too. So just such an easy win. Keep those packets on hand for times when you know that like, you just can't always make everything from scratch. It's just not realistic. Now, my next recipe, oh, this is such a good one. <laughs> this is a beef barbacoa taco. 
And as soon as I saw it, I just knew that this was something we had to make. So you want to start off with a quarter cup of cilantro minced. And I'm just going to put that into one of my uh, larger measuring cups. And we're going to make like a paste, a sauce that's going to go onto our beef. And then I'm going to add a third a cup of tomato paste. And that's just going to go in there. We're going to end up mixing everything. So not to worry, just going to go on top going to use eight cloves of garlic. Uh, you cannot go wrong with so much garlic. It is so good in this. This is just so flavorful. Uh, I'm As I'm talking about it, I can't wait to make it again. <laughs> I almost wonder if I could make up like the sauce um, as like a paste ahead of time and put it in the freezer and then just have it on hand. I bet I could. Then you want to use two tablespoons of uh, peppers in adobo. And then you also want to use like a tablespoon of sauce from that. So you can see I'm trying my best to kind of get it out. I didn't really want to like chop them up. I'm sure you could. I didn't feel the need to in the end. It was it was plenty um, of the peppers and adobo. And I didn't want it to be too spicy for the kids. And then two tablespoons of cider vinegar. Four tablespoons of cumin. So a lot of cumin in here. Make sure you have cumin on hand. I uh, actually have to buy some. So I've been going through it like crazy. And then you want to use a tablespoon, and I think I actually use two tablespoons of brown sugar, because you can't go wrong with that, and uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt, as well as a teaspoon of pepper, and then just mix everything up. Now the recipe says to take your, uh, I think it's like a three plus pound uh, beef and slice it in half, and then I think it's like a round roast, and then just kind of cover it so you can see I was trying to use my spatula and be like all dainty and I was like forget it this is not we're just gonna have to rub this in that's gonna be the best way to do this so it you can get messy messy with it however you want to do it um, and then place that in your crock pot and then you just want to pour um, one cup of beef stock over the top and you're gonna cook that on low for eight hours and then shred it. So I served mine with some queso fresco, some tomatoes, some fresh avocado and cilantro. Uh, you can use whatever you want. And then I served it with corn tortillas. I just like to cook those up on the pan and just get them uh, a little bit warm. If you don't cook your tortillas at all, they do like the break in half, it's really weird. Uh, so make sure that you either you know, follow the directions. You can do them in the microwave. I think they're really soggy in the microwave. So personally, I love to just cook them on a pan on like high heat just for a few seconds on each side and they get really perfect. And then I just sliced up my meat and put it on a big pan like this with the sauce and oh, the flavor was so good. You also see that I have some Greek yogurt and some um, pico and I ended up serving mine with a queso fresco, a bunch of cilantro, and then I ended up adding the, uh, I think it was a pico on top of that. Just want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these recipes and that they will be helpful for your family in this fall and crazy school time. And I will see you all very soon. And don't hesitate. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity. Do not forget.